Hi guys, welcome to Chris Audio. Today we'll be reviewing this brand new plugin, Extressor Nuke. Um, this is a mini version of the full Big Brother that this new Distressor has from Kiev Audio. So today we'll be reviewing only this freebie to be quick, and tomorrow I will be comparing the full the full uh, Extressor, comparing with some of the acoustic audio and some of the uh ik multimedia and well let's go first uh i will see if this gets some uh well let's review the plugin quickly you got the mix knob you know to if you want to process in parallel you got the oversampling if you need it you got the side chain high pass filter uh that, that you would have in another compressor and it's simple here you got an input and output this is auto game that means that it will compensate the amount of compression and the volume from the input to the output so you should have the same volume after compression and here the only controls you got here is the, the releases fast normal and slow release you can uh you can put this bigger if you want here and you got here presets that doesn't exist any any yet and then let's see if we got some harmonic distortion just by putting this on And yes, we have some harmonics. Let's push. Yes, this looks pretty clean and nice. I I am not seeing aliasing coming back. So we covered that here, okay? Now talking about the consumption, the CPU. You can see it here. So let's try in the cases that i would use this that would be especially on drums and in this case on the on the kick on the snare but usually on the snare drum and then i will try on the bus okay let's i here made some process for this snare so i will play now with the with the plugin and let's see what can do I would use this normally in fast release, at least that I want really to smash this and I would go slow. But you got three attacks and it's nice how it sounds, to be honest. I would use this on drums to be honest but i got already many but it would be a good option if i want something different maybe now let's play the whole package of the drums let's push this guy whoa Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, see, that's something really good to the drums. Uh, this is not 100% uh, accurate, so you got to play with it. I hear more volume, even that it's, it's supposed to be a auto game. I know, I don't know, a lot of companies always fail to do this. Uh, okay, now let's play some acoustic guitars. This is not something I usually put on my acoustic guitars. So I made some process here, what I would do on the acoustics that I don't like, like really, really high end. Let's put this guy in. Oh, 
Okay, uh, let's try normal mode. Okay, I won't compress that hard when I am with an instrument. I am just trying to stress the compressor to see how this is going to react. Now let's try some vocals. Okay, here we got the vocals. <clears throat> I just made some pre-process here, only the EQ. I EQ a little bit here. And well, for the main reason we're here is for the distressor, okay? So let's play with this guy. This works really good. I will use it this at seven. Let's see how this if this got uh, through on this little mix. It gives some warm to the lead vocal. Santo, Santo, tú eres. Some thickness. Santo por siempre. Amen. Well, there you have it. It is useful. Yes, uh, it sounds good. Yes. Uh, but it's limited, so tomorrow I will be comparing the Big Brother with the old monsters that already exist uh, and see how it goes, okay? Then, thank you, let me know if you like it or not. This would be pretty useful on, on parallel compression, works really nice. Uh, when I push it here, it gives me a good character here. So, uh, well. Let me know and see you tomorrow or day after tomorrow with a comparison against the big monsters, okay? See you later, guys. Peace. Bye-bye.